month of November is obviously associated with Thanksgiving, given that it will be here in just a few weeks. And you may not yet be in the Thanksgiving spirit, so let me ask you a question. What is it that you give thanks for the most? The answer is quite simple. It's that thing that you value the most. And it may not even be a thing. It may be a person. It may be a people. And you know, our kids and our grandkids are among the most priceless uh, things that we could ever give thanks for. Hello and welcome to From the Shepherd to the Sheep, our daily devotionals with Dr. Brad Winnegar. My name is Tyler Candy and I am the media director here at Central Baptist Church. And I'm welcoming you to this video and to all the videos on our platform. And we're thankful that you have joined us this morning for a revisited devotional. If you haven't yet subscribed to our YouTube page, I'd request that you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. While you're there, you can also tap the notification bell icon right next to it so that you can be notified whenever we post new content. And we do post a lot of content, including these visited, uh, these revisits, devotions, along with normal devotions, songs I love to sing, uh, my take on your favorite songs. Those are all things that our pastor does. And then we also have all of our live stream services on Sundays and Wednesdays and our Bible Institute programs. So lots of content there that you would like to have right at your fingertips. I'll, I'll not keep you any longer. Let's go ahead and listen as Dr. Brad Winninger, our pastor, talks about this very subject of leaving a legacy, a goodly, godly legacy, and he also sings an original song about it. Lord, let me leave a godly legacy. Lord, let me live a life that's pleasing to thee Lord let my grandkids see Jesus Christ in me Lord let me leave each one a godly legacy as I watch my grandkids at play the other day I thought how blessed to see them grow and to hear them pray. Thank you, Lord, for all the good times in our family. Lord, let me leave them each a godly legacy. Lord, let me leave a godly legacy. Lord, let me live a life that's pleasing to Thee. Lord, let my grandkids see Jesus Christ in me. Lord, let me leave each one a godly legacy. For all the grandpas and the grandmas and the papas and the nanas too, I want to tell you, no one else can take your place. No one else can fill your shoes. Invest in precious grandkids for eternity. Promise God you'll leave each one a godly legacy. to thee. Lord, let my grandkids see Jesus Christ in me. Lord, let me leave each one a godly legacy. Lord, let my grandkids see Jesus Christ in me. Lord, let me leave each one a godly legacy. Lord, let me leave each of my grandkids a godly legacy. It says in the prophet Joel, chapter 1 and verse 3, tell ye your children of it, and we know to do that from Deuteronomy chapter 6, but then it also 
gives an extended admonition and let your children tell their children. We as grandparents, and those of you who are prospective grandparents, have a wonderful privilege, but we also have a responsibility to see that our children and their children are raised in the nurture and the admonition of the Lord. And then it says, and their children, another generation. You see, God's blessing was on his people to the third and fourth generation. And we may be living in blessed times right now because our grandparents and great grandparents were godly, but time may be running out. The clock is ticking and we need to pass on a godly legacy. Let's pray. Father, I pray that all of our children, grandchildren, and great-grandchildren might come to know you as Savior, might live for you, and acknowledge you in all of their ways. And while our heads are bowed and our eyes are closed, if you've never received Christ right now, would you pray from your heart something like this? Dear God, I admit my need of a Savior. I'm a sinner, and I need to be saved. Would you please come into my life, Lord Jesus, and save me right now? And he will. And if you've prayed that prayer, let us know. And if you're winning souls, let us know. And as God blesses your children, grandchildren, and great-grandchildren, we'd like to know that too. And Father, we just thank you for all those that are living godly for you. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Lord, let my grandkids see Jesus Christ in me. Lord, let me leave each one a godly legacy. God bless you today. You are listening to From the Shepherd to the Sheep Daily Devotionals. This is a ministry of Central Baptist Church in Woodbridge, Virginia. If you would like to learn more about our ministries, you can find us online at cbcwoodbridge.org. You will also find many other helpful resources there, including preaching, devotionals, and songs. We thank you for listening to this devotional from the shepherd to the sheep.